Hello everybody, this is Scott with Android Guys, and I'm going to take another look at an application. This evening we're going to look at the app called Flyscreen. Uh, you may have seen the beta invites go out not too long ago. Uh, we're going to bring the application up and get into it. And you'll see basically what it is, and you may have already seen this. It is a collection of widgets. This takes place within your lock screen. So when you actually turn the phone off and push the power button again, it brings that up. So you're actually within your lock screen. So what you have here are a collection of widgets, and you can handpick which ones you want to put on there. So, for instance, here's a CNET one, and it shows some articles. You can scroll up and down through them. If you want, you can hold this down, make it bigger, and you can scroll through them that way. And go back. That's one for the fly screen blog. And you can actually pull up a Twitter one. See your messages. Go to your at replies. You can go to if you want to actually send a tweet, you can do that. You can tap it out right there and it actually pulls up the Android keyboard. So if you want to pound out one of those. back up but you'll see some of these actually are branded they look a little different from widget to widget so they're not just your stock RSS read feed readers here's a weather widget if you want to add another one it's very easy you just go to the Like, look at that, I made a liar out of myself. <laughs> Alright, so we'll actually unlock it. There we go. So we're going to add a widget. And then you can pick from the categories that are available. So we'll go to entertainment and we'll pull up the onion because we like them. Uh, we already have 10 on here, so what we'll do is we'll get rid of the CBS NFL one and we're going to get rid of the CNET we're going to add the onion and then we'll pick another category we'll go down to technology now here's my only bone to pick they do not have an Android guys widget so somebody needs to do something over there at uh, FlyDroid so we'll look for one of those down the road I know it's beta and everything so we'll let it go uh, I'll pull up Mashable and then what it does is you'll see it puts them right there at the beginning and we'll just go back it's going to connect to the server and it's going to update my widgets so now it'll say update successful go all the way back to the beginning there's the onion and there's Mashable so there are your feeds you can search from within there there's actually a Google search and you can also go in here do a manual update of all your feeds you can set the widget same thing that's the gallery we're done you can change your updates you can pick how often you want it to be. If you want it to be every couple of hours, if you want it to be every 30 minutes, can't really make it out there, it's bright. Um, manual. What you can do is also set peak start time. So you can actually set it to not worry about refreshing while you're sleeping. If you wanted to, you can mess with peak and off peak. So very cool. And then the account is your username and password. So it shows your phone number. I'm not going to give you that. Uh, but very cool they've got a great website uh, if you want to you can go there and uh, add widgets rearrange the order uh, and check it out so uh, that is on fly screen and you can go to flydroid.com you want to read more uh, very nice application runs very smooth responds well and I mean it looks great I actually keep the icon on my desktop because if I'm messing around with other stuff I'll actually pull it up because it's a quick easy way to get to the different feeds that I have so instead of going in and using like an RSS reader I'll use that 
So keep an eye out for it. It should be uh, available here shortly. Uh, if you did not get the beta invite, I'm sorry to say, but you're missing out on a pretty cool application. Uh, so reach out to the fly screen guys, fly joy that you're also on, find them on Twitter and tell them you need to get your hands on one of those because Scott from Android guys told you so. And with that, we'll go ahead and end this and I'll see you guys again soon. For more Android news and opinion, go to androidguys.com.